Act. With me in the uh, studio uh, this morning is Representative Justin Jeanette. Uh, he is the representative from Saco. You're leading this uh, this campaign to save the Saco drive-in. It's so critically important because it really does represent basically a connector to our rich dynamic history and culture. I didn't realize it was it, 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 it uh, opened in 1939. 1939 it opened. It's, it's actually the second oldest drive-in in the entire country. Wow, because the first one wasn't wasn't the first one down in New Jersey somewhere in New Jersey, in some correct. guy's driveway. Right, <laughs> that's yeah. how they begin. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, but the thing the thing that you realize, and first of all, I and and you say that Honda is sponsoring this campaign, where if you get the the uh, the theater that gets the driving theater that gets the most votes, they're going to give away like eighty of these. Uh, uh, digital or right units? so there's this conversion that's taking place because the industry basically the film companies are like we can't spend a lot of money on all this film sending if physically sending you the reels exactly yeah. so um this is the last season where any drive-in across the country uh can utilize those film reels mm -hmm. so basically it forces everybody to convert to digital are they going to do the same at, at regular theaters indoor theaters um, um that's already been converted already to been digital yeah. so um so but basically what honda is saying is you know it costs eighty thousand dollars a lot of money just for one digital projector one projector so this contest basically the top five vote getting vote getting theaters uh -huh. um get a digital projector it says how many theaters how many theaters are there in the in the country i can't oh remember. gosh um it's like 30 plus but this is sponsored by honda which is really fascinating I, i'm the new owner of a, of a honda i didn't i never i never i think a subconsciously you knew I this contest have, was going but, on <laughs> but you know at first i wondered what is the connection with honda right. and they said uh, it's it's an it's a, it's a car issue, right. <laughs> and Americans love their cars. Right. Nobody else would come up with the idea of a drive-in theater, right? Except the USA, <laughs> and and uh, we we can't let these things we can't sort of slip into uh, oblivion, right? And it's not just a cultural piece, but it's also an economic driver. I mean, it's a job creator in the Saco area, yeah. and people from all over the state and all over the region go there. So if we're really serious about that sign out by the highway that says open for business as a state, let's let's put our money where our mouth is and click vote each and every day. They say it's been open for 74 summers. Correct. Uh, and and uh, if, if something isn't done, this is the last season. So this basically, we'll know in early September whether or not the Saco drive ins closing its doors forever, uh, unless somebody comes up with eighty thousand dollars somewhere. But now, and you can vote online. You can vote online. You can go to thesacodrivein.com, and there's information of how to vote. Again, the Honda project's called Project Drive In, and people can vote every day, once per day, once. Um, and for the next couple of weeks. And so it's so important that you just click vote and not ask. Have you voted every day? Every <laughs> single day. You know, it's hard sometimes because you're like, oh, I got to vote today. I got to vote. I got to get it in. So um, it can be. But difficult. you have no idea yet how many votes Saco has gotten. No. Um, within the first day, though, across the country, there was over 100,000 plus votes cast. Wow. So people People are getting this out so yeah. there's no vote tally on an individual theater level so the last drive-in i went to mm -hmm. that i would admit to, is the trenton drive-in up in up near ellsworth oh really and the, we, we took the whole family put them in we uh we had uh, uh sleeping bags in the back of a, a pickup truck and That's so we put the it. yes <laughs> and uh and uh, it was star wars that Star Wars. I that wish I got to see Star saw. Wars in the theater. Yes, and, and, and it was. I, I do remember. But the thing that drove me crazy was because they had, they had to wait until it got real dark, and so they keep playing the uh, the movies with the dancing hot dogs and come to our snack bar and say, "All right, we know the snack bar is there. We know it's just." Uh, but they just kept going around and around. Right. The dancing hot dog. Perfect time to go <laughs> get yourself a hot dog. Yeah, you say, this is kind of a sadistic. You're going to have a dancing hot dog in the roll? Maybe we should have a dancing hot dog say, <laughs> now is the perfect time to go out and vote to yeah. save this place. Uh, now, uh, have you been to the cycle drive-in lately? I have. Um, and it actually, it's really funny because through this whole campaign, and we've been really at this for about a year trying to save it, wow. uh, trying to raise the awareness. We, before this contest came around, we were raising money. and so. But what I found is going to the drive-in now is sort of like a resurgence. There's more people discovering something that was in their backyard, you know? <laughs> there are the the, uh, the piece in the De uh, Bangor Daily News, and it, I guess it's also... Uh, been in the uh, local paper, the uh, the current mm. that did an article uh, a couple of weeks ago, right? And uh, and there was one this morning in the Bangor Daily News. I, I I haven't seen any in the 
in the press hall. Have you seen, has the press hall done There that? was one that when, uh, actually Honda came down to tape part of a commercial to promote the project right at the drive-in. Wow. And so this video has been seen hundreds of thousands of times on YouTube already, and we're part of the the actual commercial. So it was really so, fascinating. So yeah, so you're you're in the running, I guess. You're re- definitely, Sacco is really duking right. it out. And, and uh, there are several... Drive-ins in Maine. Does uh, Bridgeton have one? And, and who else? I, I think the Trenton one is There's gone. one in Westbrook, I believe. Um, okay. And the Saco Drive-In is the largest in Maine. And it was the only one competing in this contest. I believe there's one other Maine one that is competing. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's important that you know we, we share the wealth a little bit and ensure that they get uh, in the there, top five. There used to be one up near Rockland. A lot of them have closed. I mean, it's hard uh, yeah, to keep I, it afloat. Yeah, I'm sure the one in Rockland yeah. is closed. But the thing that I, I remember... Uh, because uh, the uh, local people would talk about it. Oh, well, yeah, my, my producer said, what, what, we, we have time? Are they cueing the Academy Award music? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we have a few minutes left. But uh, the, the one up in Rockland used to advertise that on Sunday they had a drive-in church where somebody would wow. preach on the screen. I, I never <laughs> went to it myself, but, uh, you know, it seemed like, well, all right. We like it. to stay in our cars, but whether you to see, eat. You know, and they used to, <laughs> there used to be all kinds of stories about what went on in drive-ins. They used to call them passion pits. Oh, and yeah. there were the stories of people who mistakenly drove off with the speaker the still speakers. in their window, and it would rip the window <laughs> out, and they would have signs saying, remember to remove your speaker. Right. Well, the the owner of the Saco drive is a good friend of mine, and he'll tell me stories about how people's cars will actually need to be restarted. Yeah. Like, they'll have to jumpstart the cars because they <laughs> left the engine on or whatever. Or, yeah, with the heat and everything. The, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. In, so... What's what's the uh, website again? So people can go to the Saco Drive In dot com and vote easy. every single day. Invite once a day, once a day, every day until uh, like about September. Day, 6th. Like they do in some political precincts, <laughs> right? <laughs> vote, vote every early, day vote and vote often, often. Yeah. right? Exactly. So Very right good. now we're not asking for money or asking for political votes. We're asking for votes to save a local cultural icon and a great job creator. Right. Well, and, and this will be quite a coup if you can pull this off, Justin, because you're you're sort of leading the whole charge, right? I'm having a great time with it. I mean, yeah. it's so critically important to me and to our community. And the historical so. people in Saco must be behind it, too. I mean, this they is... They are. A, Historic is, preservation. I mean, yeah. 1939, like you mentioned. I mean, how many places around here can say that they've been uh, in business that long? Yeah. So. And and uh, they they have had a uh, an up-and-down history. Right. Uh, because I guess when uh, when uh, television came out, people said, well, why should I... Well, even right. the movie theaters had, had trouble. Right. And, and, of course, in Maine... You have the weather issue, mm. uh, uh, and they're probably open. Especially this summer, <laughs> where we've had yeah. the rain and different things. Yeah, you can't. But, you know, there's not a lot of activities where you can bring the whole family out for a low price and, and really bring people together. So it, it, it's it's one of those things where I, I really see a, a value from a family perspective, bringing people together. Yeah. So hopefully we can keep it afloat. So I'm I'm asking everybody, doesn't matter if you live in soccer or not, anybody in the state, I want every state rep, every state senator, the governor needs to click vote. Everybody needs to click vote. Because have you have been in touch with the governor? Uh, I don't, who has been in touch with the governor? I mean, let's be honest, uh, you know, not showing up to committee meetings or, or barring people <laughs> well, from. Yeah, it's like a, let's not sh- take shots at the governor. Uh, we, we we do that enough. But right. but he has, you haven't been in touch with him. Um, I haven't seen him and I'm a state rep up there. Um, mm-hmm. So, I mean, but I would send a, a message out to him that, um, you know, if he really wants to, That's to right. promote you, jobs. You came that, on here once, you called and asked if you could come on. Oh, in the election cycle, yeah. And uh, I always, at election time, I always have a, a you know an open door policy. If you're a candidate for anything, right, you can come on anytime you want. And so you came on mm-hmm. uh, one of the shows, and and your opponent I called up and and said, "I demand equal." I said, "You don't need to demand equal time. You can come in anytime <laughs> you want. You want." And so he he came in and uh, that's I, cute. I, I yeah, and I can't <laughs> remember uh, the details, but but uh, yeah, we we love to have. Have people either stop in or call right. in, and we we right. get a lot of people doing. And just it's that. important to have that open dialogue because if you don't see the candidate at their door, yep. you know this is the platform for really connecting with the people that you're going to be voting for and that's going to be representing you either yep. in Augusta or in Washington. So, do you know what's playing at the Saco Drive-In right now? Uh, I know it's animated features. I think Monsters University and Planes. So that family, planes. family, family. Thing. It's because a family some affair. Some of them, the, the, the Trenton Drive-In actually became a, a porno drive-in. Thing. Oh, gee. <laughs> no, I mean, we're. It, it, I mean, I don't know whether it was. I don't know whether it was porno. Uh, 
Was it? What was it? Was the one called the the Green there, Door? There is one. Uh, actually, it was just in the Huffington Post the other day where they were doing a, a little expose about that particular drive-in. <laughs> and uh, but we're very family friendly, <laughs> so definitely no connection to that. Yes, no, no. <laughs> Uh, but uh, but it is it is I guess all part of the it drive-in evolves. mythology right. and the drive-in history because th- they've been around for a long time right and they are as American as you can get as apple pie <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sh- do they no I'm sure they don't exist anywhere else I, it's it's hard I mean we we are competing with those that are bigger out in Texas and out west I mean they have drive-ins that can operate all year round because we're they're not in Maine obviously but so we have a few months uh, out of the year and we're uh, looking forward to you know moving forward okay. um, and saving this place you know Justin thanks for coming by we will vote the drive-in.com and uh, and thanks again for coming by nice all to right. see you John all right, bye now.